Number 7. Water hemlock, also known as Secuta maculata, closely related to poison hemlock, the plant that famously killed Socrates. Water hemlock has been deemed the most violently toxic plant in North America, a large wildflower in the carrot family. Water hemlock resembles Queen Anne's lace and is sometimes confused with edible parsnips or celery. However, water hemlock is infused with deadly succutoxins, especially in its roots, and will rapidly generate potentially fatal symptoms in anyone unlucky enough to eat it. Painful convulsions, abdominal cramps, nausea, and death are common, and those who survive are often afflicted with amnesia or lasting tremors. Water hemlock is considered one of North America's most toxic plants, being highly poisonous to humans. Three members of the genus contained a toxin named sucutoxin, which causes central nervous system effects, including seizures following ingestion. Medical treatment of poisoning may include the use of activated charcoal to decrease gastrointestinal absorption of the toxic principle, along with supportive care. High doses of anti-convulsion medicine are often required to halt seizure activity and further medical care including intubation and mechanical ventilation may be required. These plants grow up to a maximum of 2.5 meters, 8 feet in height. The stem of the plant is branching, smooth, and hollow, sometimes being purple striped or molted. The rootstocks are multi-chambered and contain a yellowish oily liquid, which turns reddish brown on exposure to air and emits a smell of raw parsnips. The leaves may reach 30 to 90 centimeters, 12 to 35 inches in length. The plant produces a cylindrical fruit, which is 4 to 6 millimeters in length. The plant is spread primarily by seeds, which are produced in large numbers and are small in size. Number 6. Deadly Nightshade, also known as Atropa belladonna. According to legend, Macbeth's soldiers poisoned the invading Danes with wine made from the sweet fruit of deadly nightshade. It is the sweetness of the berries that often lures children and unwitting adults to consume this lethal plant. A native of wooden or wasted areas in central and southern Eurasia, deadly nightshade has dull green leaves and shiny black berries about the size of cherries. The foliage and berries are extremely toxic when ingested, containing tropine alkaloids. It can also be harmful to handle and or touch these plants. These toxins cause delirium and hallucinations. Nightshade contains atropine and scopolamine in its stems, leaves, berries, and roots, and causes paralysis in involuntary muscles of the body, including the heart. Even physical content with the leaves may cause skin irritation. Atropa belladonna plants can reach a height of 2 meters or 7 feet, more commonly 1.5 feet or 5, and have leaves that are 7 inches long. The bell-shaped flowers are dull purple, tinged yellow-green towards the base, and are faintly scented. The berries are sweet and are consumed by animals, mainly birds, that disperse the seeds in their droppings, even though they contain toxic alkaloids. However, in comparison of the fruit, shows that black nightshade berries are spherical, have a dull luster, and grow in clusters, whereas the berries of deadly nightshade are much glossier, twice as large, and somewhat flatter. Another distinction is that black nightshade flowers are not tubular, but white and star-shaped, bearing a central cone of yellow antlers. Number 5. White Snake Root, also known as Adratina Altissima. White snake root was responsible for the death of Abraham Lincoln's mother, Nancy Hanks. White snake root is a North American herb with flat top clusters of small white flowers and contains a toxic alcohol known as trimetal. Unlike those who have died from directly ingesting deadly plants, poor Nancy Hanks was poisoned by simply drinking the milk of a cow who had grazed on the plant. The plants are upright or sometimes ascending, growing to 1.5 meters, 4.9 feet tall, producing single or multi-stem clumps in mid to late summer and fall. Leaves have sharply serrated margins and are up to 15 centimeters, 6 inches long. The flowers are a clean white color, and after blooming, small seeds with fluffy white tails are released to blow in the wind. The plant can spread either by wind or by its seeds. Both the meat and milk from poisoned livestock can pass a toxin to human consumers. Symptoms of milk poisoning include loss of appetite, nausea, weakness, abdominal discomfort, 
red in tongue, abnormal acidity of the blood, and death. Luckily, farmers are now aware of this life-threatening hazard and make efforts to remove the plant from the animal's pastures. Number four, castor bean, also known as Rickimus communis. Widely grown as an ornamental, the castor bean is an attractive plant native to Africa. While the processed seeds are the source of castor oil, they naturally contain the poison ricin and are deadly in small amounts. It only takes one or two seeds to kill a child and up to eight to kill an adult. It is a fast growing shrub that can reach the size of a small tree, around 12 meters, 39 feet, but it does not stop there. The glossy leaves are 15 to 45 centimeters, six to 18 inches long, and have 5 to 12 deep lobes with toothed edges. In some varieties, they start off dark reddish purple or bronze when young, gradually changing to a dark green, sometimes with a reddish tint as they mature. The leaves of some other variants are green, particularly from the beginning. Plants with dark leaves can be found growing next to those with green leaves, so there is most likely only a single gene controlling the production of the pigment in some varieties. Once ingested, ricin works by inhibiting the synthesis of proteins within the cells and can cause severe vomiting, diarrhea, seizures, and even death. The poison was used in 1978 to assassinate Georgi Makov, a journalist who spoke out against the Bulgarian government and has been mailed to several U.S. politicians and failed terrorism attempts. Most fatalities are the result of accidental ingestion by children and pets. Number 3. Oleander Described by Pinli the Elder in ancient Rome, Oleander is a beautiful plant known for its striking flowers. Though commonly grown as a hedge and ornamental, all parts of the Oleander plant are deadly and contain lethal cardiac glycosins known as oleandrin and nerine. Oleander grows 2 to 6 meters, 7 to 20 feet tall, with stems that splay outward as they mature. First year stems have a bloom, while mature stems have a grayish bark. The leaves are in pairs or whorls of three, thick and leathery. The flowers grow in clusters at the end of each branch. They are white, pink to red, 1 to 2 inches in diameter. They are often, but not always, sweet scented. The fruit is long and narrow, stretching from 2 to 9 inches long, which splits open at maturity to release numerous downy seeds. So just imagine that you're walking along and you see one of these seeds. If eaten, oleander can cause vomiting, diarrhea, erratic pulse, seizures, coma, and death. And if that wasn't enough, contact with these leaves and sap is known to be a skin irritant to some people. Imagine eating honey when you got home, but little did you know that the toxins in oleander are so strong that people have become ill after eating honey made by bees that visited the flowers. Oleander is a poisonous plant because of toxic compounds it contains, especially when consumed in large amounts. Toxicity studies of animals concluded that birds and rodents were observed to be relatively insensitive to the plant. Other mammals, however, such as dogs and humans, are relatively sensitive to the effects of oleander, so don't give this to your dog as a treat. It is also hazardous to animals such as sheep, horses, cattle, and other grazing animals, with as little as 100 grams being enough to kill an adult horse. Plant clippings are especially dangerous to horses, as they are sweet. In July 2009, several horses were poisoned in this manner from the leaves of the plant. Symptoms of a poisoned horse include severe diarrhea and abdominal heartbeat. Fortunately, fatalities from oleander poisoning are rare, as the plant is very bitter and thus quickly deters anyone sampling the plant. Number 2. Tobacco also known as Nicotiana tabacum. Tobacco is the most widely grown commercial non-food plant in the world. All parts of the plant, especially its leaves, contain the toxic alkaloids, nicotine, and abeacin, and can be fatal if eaten. Despite its designation as a cardiac poison, nicotine from tobacco is widely consumed around the world and is both psychoactive and addictive. Tobacco products contain numerous toxic substances with nicotine, carbon monoxide, and other chemicals causing harm. Nicotine is highly addictive and can lead to poisoning, especially in children 
and when concentrated forms are used according to the CDC, other chemicals in tobacco smoke, like carbon monoxide, are linked to cardiovascular and lung diseases, while the 80 plus carcinogens in tobacco smoke contribute to cancer risks. Tobacco use causes more than 5 million deaths per year, making it perhaps the most deadly plant in the world. Number 1. The Manzanillo Tree, also known as Hippomane Manzanilla is a species of flowering plant in the Spurge family. Its native range stretches from tropical southern North America to northern South America. Hippomane Manzanella grows to 15 meters, 49 feet tall. It has red grayish bark, small green yellow flowers, and shiny green leaves. The leaves are simple, alternate, very finely serrated or toothed, and 5 to 10 centimeters, roughly 2 to 4 inches long. Spikes of small greenish flowers are followed by fruits, which are similar in appearance to an apple. They are green or greenish yellow when ripe. The fruit is poisonous and every other part of the tree as well. All parts of the tree contain strong toxins. Its milky white sap contains probol and other skin irritants, producing strong allergic contact dermatitis. Standing beneath the tree during rain will cause blistering of the skin from mere contact with this liquid. Even a small drop of rain with the sap in it will cause the skin to blister. Burning the tree may cause ocular injuries if the smoke reaches the eyes, although the fruit is potentially fatal if eaten. No such occurrences have been reported in the modern world. Ingestion can produce severe stomach bleeding, shock, and bacterial superinfection, as well as the potential for airway compromise due to anema. If you ingest the fruit, it is pleasantly sweet at first, with a strange peppery feeling, gradually progressing to a burning, tearing sensation and tightness of the throat. Symptoms continue to worsen until you can barely swallow solid food because of the pain and the feeling of a huge lump. Despite the inherent dangers associated with handling it, the tree has been used as a source of wood by Caribbean furniture makers for centuries. It must be cut and left in the sun to dry the sap. To avoid dangerous contact with the poisonous parts of the tree, the tree must be burnt by the base. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. Click here for another video.